Okay, all right. Okay, hopefully this is working. I'm going to try to get this to you momentarily. So um, I'm Dr. Collins, Dr. Janice Collins, and I'm here to talk to you about the voice of the storyteller. Okay, and the second one will be the voice of the human being behind the story. Okay, this is going to be a little fast because you also have the PowerPoints that you can look at, but this will give you a reference. Okay, so um, the voice of the story storyteller. I want to talk about that first because you are important. You're the storyteller. You decide what information comes in and what information actually goes out. The main thing you have to remember are the three C's. In your writing and in your delivery, you need to be clear, concise, and conversational. Your writing, the delivery, and your ideas as they flow need to be clear, concise, and conversational. Clear, straight to the point, concise, and conversational, like you're having a conversation with someone. Because in broadcast, whether it's radio, online, or what have you, broadcast allows you to actually create relationships with your audience because they remember how you made them feel. So remember that, clear, concise, and conversational. Besides that, some of the techniques of improving your delivery as a storyteller are found on this list. Enunciation, phrasing, emphasis, pitch, speech patterns, pacing, and the overall tone. Now, a few of these I'm going to talk about real briefly. This is an exercise that you can do at home. When you have an exercise here and you want to figure out if you have a wonderful way of pacing, you can write it in. The arrows to the left means to slow down and the arrows to the right means to speed up. So if we look at this exercise, what you can do yourself, slow down the first two and speed up the final one and then read it out loud. In your head it sounds one way but out loud it sounds differently and that's how your audience is actually going to actually see it and hear it. Okay, so let's take a look at this and uh, let's look at slow down, slow down, speed up. The standoff between hijackers of a jetliner and the Indian government continues at this hour. If we speed up in the first and the second and we slow down. The standoff between hijackers of a jetliner and the Indian government continues at this hour. So basically you just want to do that. These are some exercises that you can actually use. When you write your script, you can actually write your script and use arrows. You can take a part a marker, have an arrow that way, or have an arrow that way, and that'll help you with your with your pacing. Techniques for improving delivery also includes emphasis. Emphasize whatever's underlined. You can use that as well. Remember that subjects and verbs carry the most meaning. I am going to town. Oh, sorry, that's the bell. I'm in my office. <laughs> I am going to town. I am going to town. I am going to town. So it makes you sound a little weird at times, but it depends on how you're going to emphasize. The last part is you can just read this and emphasize whatever's underlined. That's how a script would look. Here I love the ellipses. Three dots. It's not a hyphen. It's not a period. It's not a comma. It just is a slight pause. It's an alternative to public and private schools. And for some, it's the most attractive option. So it depends on how you actually mark your scripts will determine how you actually deliver. All right. Controlling nervousness. Everyone's nervous. I get nervous. I call it excitingly nervous. I call it, it's wonderful. I'm having a great time. So I don't psych myself out. And nervousness just means something great is going to happen. So, while you're thinking about this, I want you to try to breathe deeply. Relax your muscles, even your voice. Like, right now if I relax my muscles, I'm just relaxing them. You can do some warm-ups. Warm up your tongue. la la li lo lu Do some singing. Relax. Prepare properly. If you have all your work prepared, you have all of your research done for the story, you will not be as nervous. And remember that nervousness is normal. Finally, your diaphragm. The way you can practice using your diaphragm, breathing in and breathing out, so as you exhale, the diaphragm contracts. As you inhale, it expands the diaphragm. And you'll notice that by your rib cages. One of the ways, though, that you can help so you don't 
have monotone all the way up here or you're down here all the time is lay flat on the back on your back take a deep breath and put your hands on your stomach right where your diaphragm is in between your rib cage as you're speaking push on your stomach to make sure your hands don't come out that will bring timber and resonance in your voice as you're doing it okay next up is the voice of the human being behind the story. All right? Great.